Oh God, help us. Why did they do it? Because they were living by reflected light. Moses heard the voice of God. But when Moses told the people it was a reflected light. And he was dependent upon their understanding to correctly understand what he was saying. That's why this book has become such a mystery. That's why ten people can read a chapter in this book and you come up with ten different answers. It's because we, we don't understand. We don't understand, understand spiritual truth. So tonight, I want you to understand that Jesus Christ wants to take you into the conception chamber. He wants to make love to you. And I'm talking to spiritual people here tonight. I'm not talking to non-spiritual people. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to know something about God. But I want to tell you, He wants to make love to you and you will know Him in a way that nobody else could know Him. And there's no preacher that's going to give you that knowledge. You hear this? No preacher is going to give you that knowledge. Because I could not explain to you in words what I know about Christ. And I've been in that conception chamber. Because it's there that the Christ is birthed in us. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's where the Christ is being birthed in us. It's in that conception chamber. But can we explain that? No. Can I explain to you what I know about my wife? No, I don't know any words to explain it. And this knowledge that God wants to give to us can only be received by the Spirit. And you must be in the Spirit because when I say that He wants you to make love with Him, I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking about a spiritual relationship because that spirit in you is male and female. It's male and female. And you know what? It was the woman that was taken out of Jesus Christ in the garden that he wants to put back together that's again. That's good. And that's what it's all about. Tonight, beloved, God wants to speak into your spirit. God wants to take you into that conception chamber. He wants to make love with you because He wants you to birth the Christ. And you can't do it any other way. You can't do it any other way. You can only do it in that conception chamber. And you and Christ. What did the Apostle Paul say? He that's joined to a heart is one flesh. But he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. One spirit. It's not two spirits. It's one spirit. You become one with the Christ. Beloved, this is the story. This is the truth. This is what God wants to do for you. Oh, Lord, help us. Would you stand together as we just pray? Father, I lift this people into your presence tonight to stand in the presence of the living God. Father, to be enveloped in the glory cloud that surrounds you. Father, let that glory cloud come upon this people tonight as they just lift up their hearts to you. Father, let it be tonight that you would speak into their hearts and as they stand before you, that there would be such a revelation of yourself, that they would see themselves, Father, mirrored in your face, that they would see themselves mirrored in your whole being and find that they are a part of you. Father, as they look into your eyes tonight, as they stand there beholding you, Lord, we are looking at ourselves. We are looking at the one who is all that we are. And Father, you have taken it upon yourself. You represent everything to us. You represent God to us. You represent everything that we are because we came out of you. Father, in the glory of this moment, 
as we stand in your presence. Father, open the eyes of our understanding. Lord, reveal to us uh, the truth of our identity in you. Father, let it be tonight as they stand in your presence and being enveloped in that glory cloud that, Father, there will be a transformation. There will be such a change that will come upon us. Father, even now at this moment, I declare, Father, that this people will be anointed by the Spirit of God without measure tonight and that that Spirit of God will come upon them. And, Father, there will be such a manifestation of the Christ in their lives and what they've never seen in their life before, they will see tonight, Lord, because you will reveal yourself to them, even as they stand in your presence now. Father, in your presence there is fullness of joy. Fill their hearts, Lord, with a joy and a peace tonight. In your presence, Father, nothing that defiles can enter in. Therefore, Lord, whatever there is in our lives that has tried to defile us, Lord, we reject it tonight, for it cannot touch us because we're standing in your presence. Father, let it be that tonight we will, we will know your presence in a way that we've never known it before. That as we stand before you, Father, reach forth your hand now. Oh, thou mighty God, thou mighty Christ, touch this people. Let your hand just touch them, Father, as they stand before you in your presence that there might be a, a manifestation of yourself in every heart, in every soul here in this meeting tonight. Lord, touch us to the point where you will spoil us for this world and we could never go back. We could never be anything but to be what you are. Father, we say thank you tonight. Lord, we bless you for the privilege of being able to share this word together. We bless you, Father for your voice coming and reaching us and touching us. Father, let it be tonight that the blessing of the Almighty would rest upon each one. And that, Father, not only to rest and abide upon us, but, Lord, accomplish in us that which you, you wish to do, that which is your purpose to do. And, Father, we might take the blessing of your presence out to this world and share it with those that are walking in darkness tonight. Lord, receive our thanks. We say thank you, Father, for your love, your mercy, and your grace. And all the people said, Amen. 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 Amen.